we do not deserve air conditioning, even in our labs. It gets kind of nasty in the summer. So that inspired us one day and a couple of summers ago to think about maximum temperatures. So what we did was we looked at the Los Angeles region and the San Francisco region and we counted up how many days in a year under this higher CO2 case are temperatures exceeding 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And we found in San Francisco they will be a fourfold increase and they'll double the number of days in LA with temperatures over 95. We looked at rain as well. One of the things we found was that the number of days that have rain occurring per year will decrease everywhere in the state. And we decide, we defined a rain day as any day with more than like half a millimeter of rain. So less days with rain, but rainfall will become more intense, that is when and where it falls, mostly in the spring and at high elevations. So you put those together, you have an increased risk of of flooding or at least runoff in some time and places. All of that said, the federal and state governments have an obligation to try to recover coho salmon due to their being listed under the Endangered Species Act. These efforts include monitoring, restoration, hatchery operations, education, and many other efforts which are probably yet to be identified. Participants in these efforts include the Santa Cruz County Resource Conservation District, NOAA Fisheries, the Valley Women's Club, San Lorenzo Valley High School, the City of Santa Cruz Water Department, Monterey Bay Salmon and Trout Project, and many others. Though the future doesn't look bright for coho salmon in the San Lorenzo River, these efforts will surely pay dividends for steelhead trout and other aquatic species which use the habitat that would benefit coho as well.
song, oh no, trying. 